Yeah, uh, but drunks uh, always, like every time I've been in traffic court, drunks, people just love drunks. Courts love drunks yeah. because they want them yeah. to get better. For some reason. So, <laughs> like, I go and, uh, you know, I drove with a suspended license, so I got mm-hmm. arrested. And the judge was like, you know, your record is reprehensible. You show no remorse. You do nothing but repeat your offenses, and I'm going to go the limit with this. Then the next guy is like, this guy threw a rock through a window, literally, and set a fire, and then passed out in the street. (laughs) And he goes, are you in a program, young man? He goes, yes, sir, I am. Okay, good for you. Good luck. (laughs) I wish you all the luck in the world. (laughs) All the luck. In the world. All the luck in the world. In the world. I want everyone else to have bad luck so that you can have good luck, you stupid drunk from Mansfield, (laughs) Mansfield, Mansfield. Massachusetts. (laughs) Just... Uh, Joe had a, a little run-in years ago. Years ago, Joe wasn't able to get a, a license, registration, insurance, anything. He was like in that That's that me. realm of your your life when that you go category. through that. That's me right now. Uh, so at the time, especially, the Reggies were a lot different on the uh, windshield. It was just the sticker. Mm. So he drew one. He He... <laughs> <laughs> Looked at one, got some colored construction paper, and drew the lines of the ruler. It used to just be like a grid with some holes that you, they punched in it on the mm-hmm. date. Almost like your inspection sticker still looks here in New York. Mm-hmm. And he drew it up, taped it to the windshield, and unless you were right on top of it, it looked perfect. Wow. Couldn't even tell. So his car breaks down on the parkway, and uh, he's underneath the car. And um, a cop comes up yeah. and starts talking. So... Uh, Joe's like, uh, let me get my stuff out of the car. So he goes to go into the car, and the cop's kind of still looking at his tire, I think, mm-hmm. bent or something like that. So Joe just scrapes the crap right off the windshield so the cop couldn't see it. And he goes, where's your registration and everything? He goes, oh, no, I don't have one. And he wrote him up for everything. Joe goes to court and just says, I wasn't driving because my car right. was broken down on the side of the parkway. Right. And it didn't matter how it got there or anything cuz you could say I was trailering it, I was towing it. Yep. It was anything. so he got he got away without anything. That's amazing. And there he was driving with this forged f- government document Jesus. and <laughs> I got arrested once at the Holland Tunnel because I, this is how bad I was. I had my license was revoked. <laughs> Not suspended, but revoked. <laughs> that's that's bad. And I had, uh, you know, crazy amounts of warrants, open warrants. And um, the car I was driving had the plates from a different car. Oh, that's never uh, good. The cops and, don't like that. No, and the plates were bad anyway. So, I mean, the, in other words, the car that they came from uh, had the expired. The plates were expired and from another car. Wait, for anyone that doubted, and, Louis was Mexican. <laughs> 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 and I was coming through the Holland Tunnel, and I had no money. That's where it all started. That I pulled, o- I came up to. I was one of those things where I pulled up to the toll booth and said, uh, "Hi, I have no money. What, what do you do? You know, how do we do this?" <laughs> and the guy said, "Just give me your license, and I'll fill out a thing." And I go, I don't, "It's not on me." And he goes, "Give me your registration." I go, "I don't have that either." He says, "Give me your name and your <laughs> social security s- number." You just said how smart this guy is. Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. This isn't a smart thing. No, you're right. And then I. <laughs> Uh, he made me pull over, and I went to jail. First, he put me in a jail cell that's under the Holland Tunnel uh, toll booths. There's a jail cell. There there. is? Yeah, he took me down some stairs. Hey, you got to see something most people don't get to that's see. right. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're a scofflaw, not yes. a criminal. <laughs> exactly. And I slept the night. I actually spent the night. I just slept in a little jail cell down there. And then they transferred me to Weehawken uh, County Jail, and that was the worst thing that ever happened to me. In was that one under a photo mat? <laughs> the, where, where's well, that Wee jail? Hawken is a really bad. It's a really bad jail. It's really, is it really? Yeah. Why? You wouldn't. Have, I would not have thought that at all. It's terrible. People are throwing food out the windows all the time because of the food. I mean, the, I almost puked just taking a bite out of a sandwich there. Was <sighs> it violent there? And frightening? Yeah, it was really scary. <laughs> it's really bad. Wee Hawken. Who would have guessed? Yeah, it's really bad. Damn it's not. Value? It's mostly New York. Drug addicts that get taken, like, because the New York jails overflow, mm-hmm. yeah. and they start letting the Port Authority arrest people so that they can take them to New Jersey, because Port Authority oh, wow. is New York, New Jersey. So, Oof. How long yeah. are we in for? Uh, like, uh, like a day and a half. I was in, you know, like, for a morning, afternoon, night, and the whole next day. It was horrible. It's it a up? long time. Well, they, for... And when I got there, I was in a holding cell, and the guy, one of the guys in the holding Nothing. cell said to me, don't let them take you out of this cell, because you'll never be heard from again. You'll get, if you get moved to a permanent cell, they'll never find you. They lose people, because it's a bad bureaucracy, and everybody <laughs> oh, in this no. cell agreed, they'll, don't leave this cell. <laughs> and some guy, a cop would come once in a while and say, we got to move you, and I'd go, no. 
He said, just say no. I'm like, how do you just say no to... Yeah, and I go, no, I'm not moving. And he goes, come on, we're moving you to permanent cell. And I go, I'm not leaving here. And he goes, ah, pff, all right. <laughs> <laughs> that that kept that? happening. I just kept refusing to leave <laughs> How the do you cell. refuse? You just say no. Wow, I didn't know that was an option. <laughs> yeah. No, let me out. It's really I bad. don't belong here. No, and the worst part <laughs> was that there was a toilet just in the middle of the floor of the whole pl- like in the middle of the room. Yeah, you would just have to sit there. You just there have to sit there and sh- sh- uh, yeah. yeah. Ooh, there's whoops. no close. There's no privacy. I bet I got dumped even though I didn't. No, say it didn't. It. Uh, no, nah. I think you stopped it. No, so wait, stopped they, it. did you get moved to a apartment cell? You'd be there for I, a week, baby. The basically, and, and I mean, I was because I made bail before I even arrived because I called. Uh, I used the phone in the in the. In the Holland Tunnel cell, <laughs> and I I made bail right away, but it took uh, two days for the bail to That's right find away. me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's amazing, man! Yeah, it's bad. How much the was prison bail? System is bad. Oh, I mean, I had to pay. Yeah, it was like, like nothing. No, it was a lot. It was really? like six hundred dollars or something. I mean, for me, that was a lot then. Now, yeah. now I would. Be like, I'll pay six million dollars to get out of here. I don't have that kind of money. Figure we could take care of it right here in Brainerd. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> give him that one. Exactly. <laughs> Right here in Brainerd. I just want to be in full compliance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Iraq. Yes. Yes, because that helps Fargo that, song. They want more uh, stuff.